Well, big debate about the future of chokeholds. This, this room doesn't look like a normal legislative hearing room. This is where that debate took place. That's because lawmakers who normally meet in Madison today met right here on the campus of UWM in this city where a former police officer is facing the charge of homicide accused of using a chokehold while off duty. One of the Senate bills says police departments may not allow chokeholds except in life-threatening situations or in self-defense. The city of Jefferson police chief shared a personal story. I was on the ground on my back in a losing position in a ditch in gravel and dirt fighting, fighting and fighting and all of a sudden I felt the tugging on my gun. Then he said he did something Wisconsin police academies don't teach using a chokehold. I went into a grapple mode and I jumped on this guy and I put my my arm around his neck and I started pulling back because I thought this guy's going to kill me. The president of the Wisconsin Police Chiefs Association, who is from West Dallas, backs allowing an exemption to the proposed chokehold ban. And if the state of Wisconsin says that a chokehold can never be a part of that equation, you're increasing the chances that the officer will use their firearm. But concerned residents say there should be no exemptions. The fact that there isn't a complete ban on chokeholds is concerning to me. We have heard on numerous occasions police officers use fearing for their life as an excuse for murder. Milwaukee Democrat Lena Taylor sponsors the bill. If we were to do this, we would not be in the same place that we are now, which does not document that they are prohibited in the state of Wisconsin. The Senate Judiciary Chairman and former police officer Van Wangard tells me he hopes the Senate will vote on the seven bills in May. Now, May is the same month that the country honors National Police Week. And there's a number of proposals. We have much more details on our website, fox6now.com. We're live at UWM. Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News. All right, Jason, thank you.